it's been a while since I vlogged and there's been shit going on. Um, I did the intermediate class already in private classes and tonight I started the intermediate advance. I'm super excited for that. And it does sound like from what I've been told by the private teacher I worked with that they are going to be expanding the intermediate class into three classes where I'm taking lessons, which is exciting. So I will probably take like a step back and do those, learn different things. I'm very excited for that. Uh, I learned so much new stuff. I learned my first hold. Um, I picked up things really quickly, which the instructor said was surprising, the things that I picked up but also she knows that I'm doing a lot of conditioning outside of class, which is why she thinks I picked up on certain things that most people don't at this level. Um, strength, look at these muscles. Look at these muscles. Roar! But guess what I can do? I can lift my body weight on my pole. I'm so excited. I learned from talking with my private teacher, the last private teacher I worked with, uh, my pole is super slippery because it's new. And that could be one reason I keep sliding down on it when I'm trying to do like these conditioning exercises, like pull up my body weight. She taught me about the dry hand thing, and guess what I can do now? Put the dry hands on and I can lift my weight several times. I'm so excited, so excited that I, I probably could have done that for a while, but because I'm slipping down, I didn't think I could. So that's what we've learned. My pole definitely still needs to be broken in, and that's just gonna be using it. Maybe I'll start practicing pull at home with like my ring on to help break it in a little bit. I don't know, but also I don't want to do that because that's a bad habit. But I don't know what else to do to break it in. Because slipping and sliding is not ideal in my opinion and it's not fun. And I'm like, okay, I could do so much more if I wasn't sliding because I can do it in the studio, but these poles are used multiple times a day, weeks on end. They're older, so they're very well used. Uh, but I also hopefully this week I don't know this week is getting away from me um, unfortunately fortunately but I would like to also make a video and share with you all the amazing shit that I learned some of it I can't do at my home space because I'm too close to one wall but it's pretty freaking cool I learned to do like the Peter Pan and the Superstar uh, I think those are the only two that I might have a hard time with because the leg is extended and I, I might hit the wall we'll see what happens if I hit the wall or the corner of my desk. They're they're far enough away that I can do quite a bit, but those are like hanging off the pole and spinning at the same time. I don't know if I have enough room. It'll be interesting. But I do have a lot that I can show with you, so I'm hoping to get a compilation video done this week. It might be next week of the shit that I learned, including the stall. The stall, is it called a stall or just the hold? I don't know. I should know this if I want to be a competitive pole dancer. But also, my dyslexic brain fucks up a lot of shit. So, I want to do that. Um, super excited to share that with you, because I can't believe what I've learned in such amount of time. I learned to spin and do one thing and then flip around while you're spinning and do a different spin. And that was fun. It looks intimidating as fuck. Uh, but it was a lot easier than I thought it was in the moment. Or watching the instructor do it, I didn't think it was going to be easy, but in the moment, uh, it went way better than I thought it would. I say that now, but I didn't see a video of me doing it, so it could be like fucking atrocious. <laughs> we'll find that out. Oh god, I really want to do that video now, and I'm just like, I ain't got the fucking time. I ain't got the fucking time. I guess when I have the time, I don't have the energy. I have lots of really awesome things going on with my art company, which is why I don't have the time, but those are almost all figured out and all situated, which is good news. And I'll have more time to practice at home. I haven't even been doing conditioning work the past week, but also I did um, flexibility conditioning and that really made me sore. So I was like, okay, we're gonna let our muscles heal before we, we push the flexibility again on that. Cause that, flexibility class I started online that was rough I didn't think it was gonna be as rough as it was but we'll see I'm excited it is four weeks eight sessions even I'm doing like once a week so who knows what's gonna happen um but I'm here for my class and it looks like people are walking across and showing up one of them might be the instructor so I'm gonna go and do my new class <laughs>